Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name is Garrett, and today we're going to be reviewing the Artillery Sidewinder. This is a large format 3D printer. The build volume comes in at 300 millimeters by 300 millimeters by 400 millimeters, and the price point is usually around 400 to 500 dollars USD. So if you've never seen one of our reviews before, we're just going to talk about our experiences with the machine, um, and then we'll show off some prints and some of the things we did with it. So first off, this machine does have some pretty cool features. Um, it is very quiet, and that is awesome if you are printing near your living space, so you don't have to constantly hear a printer churning in the background. And two, it does have a filament out sensor. And three, it has power loss detection and recovery features. Um, so that way, if you're ever printing and the power goes out, you don't lose all the time and filament that you just put into it. It's also very easy to assemble. Um, it comes in a box and it's basically two big pieces with a couple of screws and you just kind of screw it together and it's ready to go. It's it's actually very, very easy to assemble. But that being said, we did initially have some troubles with the printer. The first one they sent us um, had some extruder issues. Um, we ended up having to send it back and they sent us a second machine. The second one did work way better. Um, and I've talked to a few people that have owned uh, artilleries and just kind of seen on Twitter and stuff like that, that I have seen some other people have these type of issues. Um, so I don't know, that might signify kind of a quality control issue, but um, in all those cases that I've seen at least and with us, they were um, very responsive and more than willing to uh, make up for the, the issues and get replacement machines sent out. So um, I think they have good customer service but it is something you should be aware of. And we didn't have a lot of luck printing at layer heights of below 0.2 millimeters. And I'm sure there's some sort of um, super technical um, reasoning for that, but we just couldn't get it to work very well. There was a lot of, um, not layer shifting, but just layer inconsistencies and it made, it made the prints really not look good. But as long as we were at 0.2 millimeters or above, um, the prints looked actually pretty good. I will show off more prints here in a second, but I wanted to talk about this one. Um, this is Godzilla. This is our model. I'll link the video down below as well as the STLs you can get for this if you're interested. Um, but this is a um, knees and below Godzilla here. Um, this was from the first artillery that we had that we had to send back. But on the second one, we were able to print this. Um, this print took uh, roughly three days and didn't have a single issue. And this is not the only thing we printed this big. Um, so, like I said, that second one we, that we had uh, was very reliable and we could kind of just kick it off and it would go. So, okay, so now to talk about the things we printed with this. Um, all in all, we printed roughly 12 to 15 full days of just continuous printing on these um, when we add up everything that we printed. And the only real failures that we had were on the first version. Like I said, the second version just kind of worked. So we're going to kick off some print footage right now and then show you some pictures of the things that we actually printed. Okay, and before we wrap things up here, we actually have one more model to show, and this is kind of a special one because it hasn't even been released yet. Um, we haven't done a video or anything that will actually be coming up in the next few weeks. And we're actually gonna make the files available now so you guys can um, print it and potentially be in the video. This is our take on the Rancor or the Pit Monster from Star Wars. This one was printed 300 millimeters tall and it prints completely with no supports. 
Um, there were a few areas that I had to bridge and it did a really, really good job on these. And um, he actually has fingernails back here that you can kind of see. Um, they are super, super pointy and um, I was pre actually pretty impressed with those, how, how well they came out because a lot of times printers don't do a good job with um, super tiny um, pointy things. Like I said, this is a sneak peek. Um, check the description down there for links to get this model if you want to print it. And then you can tweet us pictures and we will include them in our um, official video for this coming out in a couple weeks. So final thoughts on the Artillery Sidewinder. Um, I think it's a really good printer, has some really nice features that you don't usually see at a low price point like this, especially for such a big printer. Um, there were some quality control issues, which is a little concerning, but um, they do seem very active in making up for those issues. So that will just have to be something that you make your own judgment call on. But when this printer worked, it just kind of worked, um, which is honestly more than I can say for a lot of the printers we've had. Um, so uh, that's, a, that's a good thing in my book. If you wanna check this printer out for yourself, see all the specs and stuff like that, I'll put a link down in the description. And that link is an Amazon affiliate link, so if you buy one through there, we do get a little bit of a kickback. It doesn't cost you anything extra. It just helps support the channel. And speaking of supporting the channel, if you ever wanted to get your hands on some Chaos Core Tech merch, like I am wearing right now, um, there are links just below this video. We've got um, shirts and stuff like that. We've also got a mug, so um, you can check those links down there if you're interested in that. And as always, we appreciate the support immensely. And we're really trying to build things back up around here, so that support really does go the extra mile for us. But if not, that's totally fine too. I just appreciate that you're watching the videos. So thank you for watching. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments. And until next time, keep creating.